And Carlos Nobre, who is a climate scientist at the University of Sao Paulo, has been helping us better understand the multiple facets uh, to what we are witnessing in uh, the Amazon. Uh, Carlos, what exactly uh, does this ecological disaster, an 83% surge in the wildfires as compared to last year in the world's largest rainforest, really mean for our environment and overall for our fight against climate change? The most immediate effect really happens in South America because those fires are burning uh, chopped down trees. So there's a lot of organic material being burned and that all ends up in smoke which travels up to 3,000 kilometers to the south. So it's a very, very polluted atmosphere for several months and that affects the health of over 20 million people. So air pollution caused by fires is a very serious issue. Of course, on the long term, we, we, we see global warming. I mean, all this carbon dioxide ends up in the atmosphere and, and enhances global warming. And also, on the long term, we may have the risk of uh, a tipping point being exceeded that is 50, 60 percent of the Amazon will become a degraded dry savanna. Right, and unfortunately what we are seeing here now uh, is a priority being given to politics over saving the planet's lungs, as you're saying. Will Bolsonaro's political posturing demanding an apology from Macron waste even more crucial time at this point? Yeah, this is a complete waste of time, a waste of diplomacy is almost is becoming a personal a personal issue uh, you know like two uh, small kids fighting so this is really very unhappy and fortunate that Brazil's president would get to that level of uh, discussion at any rate uh, the last statements by uh, Brazilian government uh, officials is that they will uh, overcome this personal uh, type of uh, small wars between two presidents and that they will accept international aid, not only from G7, but coming from anywhere. Uh, and that's a, it's a good move. Uh, also, all Amazonian countries, particularly Bolivia, Peru and Brazil, also need uh, any, any aid at this point really to get rid of the fires and, and primarily also to have the money to have uh, support to implement law enforcement because most of those fires come from chopped down trees. It's not wildfires in propagating through uh, standing forests. This is the, the trees were chopped down two, three months ago. They were left drying out and now people are setting fires. So we need really to have you know, law enforcement very effective in the Amazon to prevent these uh, illegal activities and also to light fires into more of the forest.